Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's explore the Unity Asset Store for a fourth time. So this time I want to take a look at some scenic things. Scenery is so important in gaming, and there is so much to see and do in the Asset Store. Now, the first one I want to take a look at is something called Nature Starter Kit. So if we head to the Asset Store, and remember you can always get there by holding Control and pressing 9, or going to Window, and to the Asset Store. So, Nature Starter Kit. And as always, these assets are going to be free. Now I know this one is used a fair bit, I, I've seen people use this myself, but there's just something so appealing about it. If you just flick through the screenshots, you can probably see for yourself just how amazing it actually is. So, if you import, download, I've already gone ahead and I've got it on my machine, Nature Starter Kit. And the great thing about it is it has a nice demo scene already set up. So let's take a look at that demo scene. So if we open it up, we can see, yep, yeah, sure, it's okay. If we double click on the main camera, now we can actually see that there are a couple of scripts attached to it. And these sort of things are quite handy because they give this gorgeous look and feel to this package. I mean, just, just look how great that looks. That looks absolutely fantastic. And that is achieved with just some of these preset uh, scripts here. For example, if we were to take all these off, you could see how it actually looks. And there is so much you can do with this because it, you don't necessarily have to keep this as it is. The depth of field I feel is, is quite a nice one because it gives that look. But this asset package has so much to it. The assets in it, let's go to the terrain. And you can see that the demo scene itself is pretty decent actually. We can go in, we can zoom in, take a look at the trees and you can see just how nice they are. And if we explore what we've got here, we have uh, the actual nature folder itself. All the possibilities, the grass, the bushes, everything you need. And it's simple, but it gets the job done. And obviously, I have no input in this. You know, I didn't create this. This is something I found myself. So at any point, if you ever feel like it, please, please, please take a look at what else the creator has. Because there's always going to be something useful that you can find. So whether you want to create something like this, bright and vibrant or anything like that, this one is going to be perfect for you, even if it's just to get started. I think that's the idea of this, get yourself started. Next one I want to take a look at is a hand-painted nature kit. So I'm going to go back to the asset store, hand-painted nature kit, and let's go free only for now. And we can see this one right here. And this is a light version. So this is just a shortened version of a full version. Obviously, this creator has the full version available, but this is the demo version. And the demo version, I feel, is quite nice. It has a lot to offer for such a small package. So I have it right down here in my assets. And as always, there is a demo scene. I always feel these demo scenes really, really help the project itself. And we can see just how it looks. Now, I like the hand-painted aesthetic of this. I, I just feel it adds a different style to a game. It looks very nice. And once again, if we press play, we've got the camera here. This doesn't have anything extra added to it. But if we go to Window, Lighting, Settings, we can see that there is a fog setting. And this is what's given that little extra kind of detail to it. And yeah, as I say, there's bits and bobs that you can use, just little ones. And don't forget, you can combine these asset packages, rework them, make them your own kind of asset rather than just dragging and dropping and dumping things into a game. Because at the end of the day, these are just here to help you. These, you know, there's so much you can do here. What I would recommend, if we take this camera, for example, this scene, we could actually just build upon what's already here. And we can just drag and drop our little extra bits into here. Go to Window, play with the lighting, 
and this way you can get all kinds of different results and you can see what you want to go for so for example if we have the uh, source as skybox and press play once again you've got something different going on here you take this directional light change the intensity play around with these um, assets there's so much to see and do i like this one because i like i say the hand painted aesthetic of it it's simple but it's nice so the last one i want to look at here is a little something called Rocky Hills. So let's head back to the asset store. Rocky Hills. And let's click free only. Once again, we are only doing free ones here, but please feel free. If you see something you like, buy it. So this one here, we can have a quick look through some of the screenshots. And this one <clears throat> is quite a nice package. You can see just how much detail is gone into this. The creator is clearly proud of what they've created here. And if we go onto their page, you can see they have quite a few things available. Some free, some paid for. It just, just depends if you're prepared to pay. So I uh, have this already. So here we are, Rocky Hills environment. And once again, there's a couple of scenes. So if we go into this one, we can see looks pretty nice it may take a second i noticed when i first got this it took just a second down here to kind of process everything but the idea of it was pretty decent so game objects let's go to details let's go to this rock for example we can see it may not look absolutely fantastic but you have to remember these assets require your own personal work so if we press play for example we can see that looks pretty nice. There's a lot of assets within this package itself to actually build a pretty decent world. Again, it's to start you off. It's to build you up into something really nice. Uh, what I do like about this is uh, there are a couple of ref uh, reflection probes built in to this scene. And I think that will help you as developers come to something nice. <clears throat> Don't forget, you can always go to window, lighting, settings, change things around. You can see how this looks. So with highlighting, looks a bit mad. If we dumb it down to no lighting, again, it gives a different kind of atmosphere. And I like it. There's a lot to see and do. And don't forget, it's always good to take some things, modify them, make them bigger, make them smaller. Let's try two, two, two. You can see what's going on here. This cave looks huge, but it looks pretty decent for a free asset. So with the asset store, one thing I will mention <clears throat> is every uh, creator on here will take pride in what they make. This creator, for example, you can tell just by looking at some of these that, that, that they take the time and the effort to do these things. Never be afraid of using anything from the asset store. Please never be afraid. If we click something like this with Sketchfab, a good example would be the fact that we can actually interact with what they've created here. And it's never too difficult to kind of mix assets together. But then I know people are cautious about um, the practice of asset flipping. If um, you ever feel you're coming to the point of asset flipping, don't worry too much because <clears throat> a lot of assets here are here to help you. I mean, we've done four episodes now of this and in previous episodes, we've seen quite a few nice little things and we've seen things that you can mix together. I think my favorite, I would have to say, is this probably in, in this episode at least, is the Nature Starter Kit. Just because the demo scene itself I feel provides so much that you can use and take away from and it is free uh, as I say so if you feel like having a look at any of these assets in uh, this video I will leave uh, the links in the description below as always and please take a look at the creators as well because what they create really helps unity as an engine so guys, I hope I've shown you some nice assets here because I know I personally like these assets. And if you are the creator of any of these assets, leave a comment below. 
let me know, get in touch, because as I always say, I would like to personally thank you because these are fantastic. So, guys, until we explore the asset store next time, thank you very much for watching.